Hi everyone. Good evening. Good evening from India. I'm Sweety Agrawal, and I'm going to be presenting our work titled "Decoding the Performance in an Out of Context Problem During Block Practice." Uh, typically, uh, in the school across India, we we see a pattern where teacher first teaches a lesson in the class about a, about a specific topic, which usually proceeds chapter by chapter. and then after a chapter is taught in the class students they practice the problems of that particular chapter and uh, in in a, uh, about that specific chapter alone and then after that uh, a quiz on those chapters is taken or given to the students so this is this is how the uh, progression happens in in the classroom so which is typically a blocked practice where students practice uh, problems of a specific chapter or a topic in in a blocked fashion uh, so th th there are some pros and cons about this particular uh, strategy of practicing the pros being that it is really good for beginners because it helps them learn and implement the newly learned strategies so that they keep on practicing if they have learned some new operations they gain confidence in applying those uh, particular operations on in the new problems and uh, new context but at the same time it's not a very efficient way of learning to learning uh, new operations or strategies because when they enter a particular uh, practice session they know beforehand the context of the problem and then they because of the nature of the strategy block strategy they are deprived of the skill of identifying the context of the problem so that they can identify what particular operation they should apply in this particular problem to arrive at a solution so for for instance in a word problem for and say addition or subtraction an important skill is to figure out which math problem math operation is needed to be applied in that problem to arrive at a solution as well as to identify the strategy that they might need to do uh, this this is particularly important because in the scenarios like uh, test or quizzes where uh, or not uh, multiple chapter quizzes where there might be problems which are superficially similar but different in structurally similar or but but actually very different that involves different operations in that cases students they they fail to arrive at a strategy and then uh, figure out the operation that they need to do because the learning had happened in a blocked manner there is a different strategy called interleaving which say, which which suggests that uh, because which, which suggests that you interleave multiple skills say addition and subtraction and students they practice both the skills together and uh, constantly the context keeps switching back and forth between addition and subtraction in that way the students they learn to identify the context and then figure out what particular operation they need to apply in that particular problem this way students they are forced to really understand the intent of the problem so that they don't just look for the numbers in the problem and then just apply an operation that they could be so this study we have uh, used a platform called funtoot which 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 is integrated in the school curriculum so funtoot uh, is an adaptive learning platform which is used by grades 2 to 9 uh, great students in schools and which is now acquired by a startup called uh, another startup called embibe so you in funtoot what happens is students they go to the computer lab in the schools after a teacher has taught a particular uh, chap topic in the classroom and then they go to the lab to practice problems on funtoot on funtoot also the problems are given in a mass in a blocked fashion so problems of a specific topic they are given together to a student <coughs> until they until they have achieved a mastery level and then the session stops so the difficulty of the problems gradually increases with the grade so the grade 2 students they get the appropriate uh, difficulty level problems in their grade and as the grade advances the difficulty of the problems also advances according to the grade so in this particular study uh, we would like to uh, so since we saw that there are some pros and cons about the uh, uh, block practice and that interleaving might help here uh, we what we wanted to see is what specific 
like uh, uh, scenarios or issues do we faced when students are are in the block practice since uh, funtoot also follows the same kind of a strategy of a block st block practice we what we did is in this addition word problems topic we added a problem uh, from a subtraction word problem which looks very similar unless a student reads the problem and understands the context and com and is able to comprehend the words of the word problem uh, they they really need to read the problem to understand that they might have to do an addition or subtraction here but so we added one subtraction problem in the addition word problems to see how they would perform in this subtraction problem so if we were so we we were expecting uh, we wanted to see that if since the word problems of addition are uh, similar and then they know the context of the word prop that the word problems that they are attempting is of addition we were we we were anticipating that in the subtraction problem also they might do an addition kind of uh, an operation so basically we wanted to look at three research questions uh, using this study the first one is whether uh, they would get this uh, uh, subtraction word problem which we are calling an out of context problem whether they will get that to correct the second problem is if uh, what kind of since it was given in the addition context what other uh, factors of addition topic might help explain the performance in the ocp if there is any any such uh, factor and the third problem is whether this performance vary across grades or not so this this table uh, explains the sample size that we had for our uh, for our this study and the total number of students and the students who who were given the out of context problem since uh, funtoot is an adaptive learning platform not every student would get this uh, out of context problem which was put in uh, which was put in the addition uh, word problems topic so uh, this is this slides uh, shows the performance tests in this out of context problem so if you look at the first row here it shows that for the grade 2 there were total 267 students who and out of which who who got the uh, out of context problem out of which 74 of them got the out of context problem correct in the first attempt so cfa here is the correct first attempt so 74 of the students got this out of context problem correct in the first attempt which makes it a 0.2% of the correct first attempts and uh, the mean problems here indicate that in the sequence of uh, problems that were given to the student the 10.25 says that the average number of the out of context problem that was given to the student in the sequence was the 10.25th problem so on an average it was say a 10th problem that was the subtraction problem so before the 10th problem nine problems were the addition word problems that were attempted by the students so this this table actually shows us that the uh, students did get the out of context problem right but the ratio is really 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 low which we see across all the grades the next question we wanted to see is what uh, what parameters in the addition uh, word problems can help explain as the performance in the out of context problem for that we took the number of problems that were attempted in the addition before the out of context problem was given before the subtraction problem was given the number of successes that were done in those uh, addition problems before the out before the subtraction problem was attempted and the number of failures and this this table shows the correlation values when as we see that the uh, there is a negative correlation between the total problems and the uh, between the number of problems and the number of failures which is a negative correlation but which is significant by the way and also uh, that the successes was significant but only for grade 4 and 5 but for grade 2 and 3 the correlations were not significant so we we see that uh, there there might be this this factors which is the performance in the addition that could help us uh, predict or understand the performance in the out of context problem so for the uh, so in the next next we we create a performance factor analysis performance factor in a pfa performance factor analysis a logistic regression model to sorry uh, to to model uh, model to predict the addition performance which is the uh, first attempt correctness 
PFA is a knowledge tracing method uh, which uses the past number of successes and failures to predict the success in the next problem. We have built one model per grade in for this particular study and using this uh, model we at any point of time we get the probability of the students correctness in the next edition problem. So for, for, for instance, uh, uh, using this uh, PFA, we, we create a variable called uh, P add, which is nothing but uh, the probability of a success for an addition word problem. If the tutor had given the student an addition problem instead of subtraction problem. This is really uh, important for us to understand uh, uh, this particular study henceforth. So uh, say uh, there are a total of uh, 10 problems that were attempted, which are addition problems before the 11th problem, which, were, which is a subtraction problem. So P add is the addition problem uh, success, uh, is the probability of addition problem uh, that the student would do it correct or not correct at this particular point if it was an addition problem. But actually at this particular point, a subtraction problem was given to the student. And then the 12th problem would be an addition problem. So on the timeline, this is how it would look like. So P add is so at P11, a subtraction problem was given by the tutor to a student, but P add is the probability of a addition problem if it was given at this particular uh, time step. So using this uh, P add value, uh, we have uh, done a regression analysis uh, for, uh, for every grades here. And uh, this table shows the regression analysis, uh, which shows that the, all the coefficients are significant. Um, sorry. Which shows that all the uh, which shows that all the uh, uh, coefficients are significant and that the coefficients, and if you look at the coefficients, we see that the, there is a difference between all the grades, uh, the coefficients between all the grades. However, we see that the coefficients of grade two and grade three are very close and the coefficients of grade four and grade five are also very close. Because of this reason, we, have, we did another analysis where we model the differences between the grades by keeping one grade as a constant with across and comparing, creating a, creating a model across to compare the differences across all other grades. And we saw that all the coefficients were significant except for the grade two, grade three pair and for grade four and grade five pair which we also see from this case that they are, they look very similar because of this reason. And the differences are also not significant, which indicate that probably those two grades, uh, the performance in those two grades is very similar and the performance in grade four and grade five is also very similar. So we combine those, these grades and we create, we, we call them a grade two and grade three, we call them lower grade and grade four and grade five, we call as a higher grade. And then when, and then we do a performance, uh, we do a regression analysis on these two grades, grade lower and grade higher. And we see that the difference between lower and lower and higher grade is, uh, is significant and that the coefficients are 7.19 and 2.29 for 7.19 for uh, lower grade and 7.19 plus 2.29 for the higher grade. And the and, and, and that the coefficients and the and that the coefficients are statistically significant also. So from this we, we see that as in when the uh, probability of addition increases, so does the uh, probability of a student getting the subtraction problem correct also increases. But we see that the increase is higher for the higher grade, whereas it is lower for the lower grade. Also, it, it's important to see that for higher grades, it is much higher than the lower grades, but the research also suggests that the P sub increases with the increase in the P add, which we see from this particular uh, graph that as and when the P add increases, the P sub also increases. But at any instant, the chances of getting the probability, the chances of getting the subtraction problem correct is still less. Like for instance, if we see the probability of getting the addition problem is 0.4, but the probability of getting uh, the subtraction problem correct is still between point, uh, point 0 to point 0.2. Which 
helps explain us the our which helps explain our third research question does the performance in the ocp or in the con subtraction problem vary across grades and we see that it does vary across grades where, where uh, it is better for the higher grades but it is uh, compared to higher grade it is worse in lower grades but still it is worth noting that the probability of uh, the chances of getting the subtraction problem correct which is the out of context problem in the addition context is still low across all grades compared to the addition uh, addition problem so uh, with this i would like to conclude my presentation which uh, which which is that students from all the grades had difficulty in getting the subtraction problem correct even though they had performed well in addition problem however uh, we we see that uh the performance in addition is a strong predictor for uh, students getting the subtraction problem correct which is an out of context problem and that the uh, uh, the strength of the predictor p add is uh, higher for higher grades compared to the lower grades we we think that this could be because of the uh, because for higher grades it might serve the p add might serve as a, an evidence for deeper conceptual knowledge than compared to then in the case of lower grades also uh, we we feel that interleaving might benefit here students to identify and discriminate among the problems which we saw in our study that the students had faced difficulty in identifying the problem uh, which was an uh, subtraction problem and they they were probably not able to identify it also uh, we 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 would like to point out that there might be some other things that could have happened in this particular case where students they might have uh, correctly identified the subtraction problem but they might have only gotten the response wrong but probably the operation that was applied was correct or and the response was wrong because they could have identified the wrong numbers to subtract however what we would like to see is whether they got the operation correct or not and also uh, and to to figure this out we would have to do a detailed analysis here for each and every response and then label each and every response with the appropriate strategy that we might think that the student might have applied in that particular response uh, so with this i would like to uh, complete my presentation here thank you